Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and welcome back to another day of Bible Journal in May. Today's prompt is the word meat, or meat. Two spellings, two words, synonyms, homonyms actually, sound the same, look the same, don't look the same, they're not the same. <laughs> okay. Take two. Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Thank you for joining me today. We are back for another prompt for our May Bible journal. And the word is meat. It's actually two words. Meat, M-E-E-T, and meat, M-E-A-T. One is the one you eat, and one is where you get together with somebody. Anyways, um... Romans 14, 17 to 19 are the verses that I chose. For the kingdom of God is not meat, food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. That's in the King James Version. The other versions I looked up, they did not use the word meat, but I knew it was in there, so I wanted to use that. Um, I did make some notes in my prayer journal page here, and what struck me was the kingdom of God. When it says it's not made, it's not, is not meat and drink, it means it's not physical. Because righteousness, peace, and joy, they're internal. And we get those from the Holy Spirit. Um, the people in the world that are not saved do not have true righteousness, peace, and joy. Because those things only come from Jesus and his spirit. So, um, my prayer was thanking Jesus that he paid for my entrance. He paid, he paid my entrance fee so that I could be with him and the Father forever. And that's what it means to be in the kingdom of God. So, another, and my thought and insight was that it's his righteousness, his peace, his joy. It's all about him. I don't bring anything of value to this relationship. He's the one that initiated it. He's the one that made it possible. He's the one that paid the price for it to be so. And the application is in verse 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. So, while the world does not have peace within themselves, we're supposed to follow after the things which make for peace. And the only thing that really does that is a relationship with Jesus. Uh, there's one verse in the Old Testament that says, Kiss the son, lest he be angry. So, you make peace with him. And then you'll have peace. And things wherewith one may edify another. To me, that's kind of like um, the application. Um, edify one another. Build each other up in this evil day. Um, so that's what I got out of that. And I thought I would do some coloring today. I got out my Prisma, Prisma, Prisma Color Premier Colored Pencils. And yeah, so I just wanna do some coloring. I haven't done that for a bit yet. I was thinking of outlining the whole thing in black. Let me see first what it looks like. If I color them, they probably will need an outline. Yep. 
yeah, they will. So let me outline that. I mentioned Kelly Bluen to you guys before. Again, these flowers are some of the ones she did a tutorial on. So these flowers remind me of echinacea. I don't think that's what they're called, but that's what they remind me of. So I decided to color them a little bit in the purple way. I didn't erase the pencil. I thought it would add a bit of extra shading. I think it looks good with the outlining. I find now when I do color with my pencil crayons, I'm in a hurry because I'm used to the results of watercolor where it's just a swipe and then it's done. <laughs> But, oh well. and there we go not too bad I mean it looks kind of amateurish but hey that's what I am <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining in today and uh, I hope this uh, section blessed you and gave you some food for thought so no pun intended get it food all right um, we will see you again next time bye for now <laughs>